and the Final Fantasy expansion, uh, not expansion, patch rather, 6, 6.5. Uh, the story on the series has wrapped up, so 6.5 vibes is going to be like set up for 7.0. Uh huh. That's how they're going to do it this time. Yeah, that's it. That's actually interesting. A, a while back, I don't remember. I don't remember where I was talking about this. I know Richard was there. You may have also been as well. This could have been a hat in time, but. Oh, you know what? I remember now. It was like. We were playing new super lucky's tale i think some random game um uh we were talking i was talking about that it's interesting that that 14 and guild wars 2 wrapped up their like big overarching 10 year long stories at like the same time yeah just like interesting coincidence yeah, yeah. So, you know, guild wars did did the same sort of thing with Victory their most recent ours. expansion being the start of a new a new sort of thing going forward mm -hmm. so the the like patch series so six one through six five mm -hmm. have been kind of like an isolated little story okay and i think it's to set up options to see what players off. like the most and go with it uh not not that set up story options so part of the world of Final Fantasy 14 is you have the source and it has 13 reflections because okay. at one point the planet was one planet and it got split into 14 planets right all right with, with one primary planet which is where the game is set five and then 13 experience. sorry just no, it's five <laughs> experience away from leveling <laughs> um and the, in the backstory of the game the evil people wanted to remerge all of the worlds into one world that sounds super evil uh yeah and they succeeded seven times oh okay um, but in addition to succeeding seven times, they colossally fucked up once and almost twice to the point where, like, the the planets, like, the, the shards of the planet aren't, like, merged. They're just useless. Oh. They're essentially flooded with one kind of ether. Uh -huh. And that's what, that's what the void is. Uh -huh. And the void is just, like... Here's, here's the 13th shard. It is just darkness and just demons now. Oh. And that's always been like a part of it. Um, Shadowbringers is about going to the first, which almost the same thing happened there, except with light instead of darkness. But it was like barely prevented. And some of the patch series stuff on that was like well 90 percent of planets fucked we should see about fixing it somehow you really do have a peculiar hmm. uh in addition like inter shard travel super hard okay it's, it's basically only been done once with going to the first in shadowbringers okay On to battle. and this patch series was kind of about like hey maybe we can use the all, the the fact that the first was almost completely flooded by light to maybe fix the fact that the 13th was flooded with dark and so it's kind of wrapped up with like you're gonna summon kingdom hearts don't do that well it's it's kind of wrapped up with like that's a process that now might be happening in the background oh no they're right? summoning kingdom hearts they're summoning kingdom hearts uh but as part of that, they had to do a lot more inner shard travel. Uh -huh. And so it's like, I think partly they're setting up for maybe there'll be an expansion in the 13th proper. Or an expansion about the first and 13th where you're fixing both of them, like more in depth. Or, or, hey, we can go to the fifth now. Because we figured out a way to just travel between shards. Is, is that the super merged one? No, the source is the super merged one, but oh. like the fifth, I, I don't know the exact numbers, but is like that, the fifth, is, the is that like the next ninth, one they're trying to get to? Well, it's just that those are still around. We don't know oh, anything about those. They're, they're just unknowns. still around. Okay. So it's like, we could, part of, part, to me, part of this stuff with like going to the first 13th and starting to fix them is like, 
we're establishing in lore options for us going to different shards. Okay. And the different shards have been like predominantly inspired by specific Final Fantasy games. So in the first, all of the names of the races are what they were called in 11. Mm, okay. You know, part Easter egg, part like homage, yeah. I feel. Yeah, so that's just making Final Fantasy 11 just take place in there. Or or at least heavily referenced it, right? Yeah, I don't think it's meant to be maybe they don't attached. No, because it's Final Fantasy, they don't really do that too much. Yeah. So yeah. But like the third or the thirteenth is a weird situation where that's where Cloud of Darkness is from. Hey, and, Cloud of Darkness. And the Allegan Empire and like a bunch of stuff from Final Fantasy three. Yeah. Is the thirteenth. But also this most recent expansion, which was in the thirteenth, was about fighting Golbez and the four arch fiends. Wait a minute. <laughs> <laughs> so it's also Final Fantasy IV. You'll be rust on my blade. But I could see them like basically using the remaining shards as an excuse to like throw in homage oh. stuff to other Final Fantasies. That was me. I was gonna look something up, but then I realized what happened. I realized what was continuing to happen. Overall, the, the, like, finale was kind of like, eh, of this patch series. Mm -hmm. The final boss was really interesting because it felt like a fusion of two different bosses. And in context, like, in story context, it was basically a fusion of those two different bosses. Mm. So it was like, oh, I kind of know this mechanic because that's this guy, and I kind of know this mechanic because it's this other guy. Mm. When 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 is uh, when is fourteen gonna cover the, uh, the the four heroes of light? Oh, I don't know. When are, when are we gonna get just just Satan? Um, we have never fought anything no, close to time. well anything. We fought something close to chaos in the form of Zodiac. Uh huh. But a, it's called Zodiac. It's a uh -huh. thing in other Final Fantasy games. Uh huh. And b, like, I am chaos. Uh, one of the trials in Shadowbringers was just the, like, original art of the Warrior of Light. <laughs> and it's one of the best trials in the game. But yeah, no, let, g g give me, give me some, give me some random, not spinoff. I mean, it's, it's sort of a spinoff. Give me, give me random spinoff bosses. Fight yeah, Asmodeus, Beelzebub. Come on, really? Uh, and what did I say before? Okay. Satan. Satan. Yeah. Satan. Everybody's just, Satan. Just fight them. And Lucifer. And Mammon. That's one of them. I don't know if there's any more. Thing is, I'm sure we fought enemies named that, but I don't know that they would have the same design. Yeah. Stop fooling around. For sure. Oh, something that was neat about the the dungeon was it used a lot of the designs from Final Fantasy IV. Ah, yeah. So like the Araman was a classic design, and the oh, yeah. goblins were a classic design. And that was fun. That's cool. Let me know when when uh, let me know when you fight Cube. Oh, we fought Spear what? Oh, Spe you fought Spear? Oh, well. Yeah. You're, you're, part, you're part of the way there, then. Mm. Spear does turn into a cube. <gasps> They're trying to prepare you. <laughs> you have to prepare yourself for Q, after all. Now, the, the Ozma fight, you fight many different geometries of Ozma. Mm. Yes. I feel like why do I want to why do I want to play that game again? Numbered Final Fantasy? Nah. Four four four, four, four oh, heroes of four one. Hero? Is it four heroes or four warriors of light? I always I'll end this quickly. I, I haven't played that one. So I don't know. 
Four, four heroes are played. Yeah, four heroes are played. I don't know. When I think when I think obscure Final Fantasy games, I admit the first one I think of is not particularly obscure. It's Crystal Chronicles. Oh yeah. Or my life is a King Mog, which I guess is more obscure. That's but more obscure. I'm sorry. What? <laughs> it's just a Crystal Chronicles like expansion thing. Okay. Always ready to fight. Did you see my complete and utter victory? Did you? We love Moggy Lou's Mystic Art. Should be able to ring out. Should be able to ring these guys up. Yeah. What was the game that I played where it has no right having ring outs? You really do have a peculiar Poke Park has ring outs. <laughs> yeah. Why? I'm being extra fastidious, but what if there's a hidden chest? I mean, it's not going to cost you anything to check. Exactly. Did yeah. we get oh, there? Okay, expansion. Yeah. Uh, the other thing that finished was the Alliance Raid series, which is the 24 mans. Mm -hmm. Um, This series has been about killing. Now, well, not killing. Hmm. Hmm. I feel like whatever you did caused some sort of change. Let's just pray they can't change it back anytime soon. I'll pass on the praying. I've come here to make a mess of this temple, remember? Ooh, you've got spunk. I like that. As long as you know what you're doing, then. Yeah. So it's been about fighting the twelve, which mm -hmm. are like the the gods of Eorzea, which is the world. All right. And at the end of 2.0, guys found Belsar guy who was the villain in that one is like your gods are fucking imaginary bro you gotta you gotta open your eyes basically this whole speech is just like your gods aren't real they're just like the primals that all the all the beast tribes summon you need to open your eyes and, and then we found we found olympus basically and we've been okay. fighting them they're very okay. clearly inspired by greek gods because uh -huh. they all have greek names even if they're not the names of the greek gods if that makes sense sure yeah that's reserved for other characters because we've also fought a Hermes <laughs> or, yeah. or and, uh, and and Hades and yeah. <gasps> Chest. Wait, where? Uh, you're going there. You're going there. It's at the top oh, of those stairs. Uh, there. Um, it's been well, I think it's been a very good Alliance series and it just ended. And I think it ended super well, and I think it's one of the best alliance raids we've had in a really long time. Nice. And uh, the final boss of the final raid uses mechanics from all the other fights. Oh no. In the raid, and I think that's super neat. When I could just point and look at it and be like, yo, that's just Helone's attack. It also means like, when it's doing that, it's intense, and it's a bunch of mechanics that you're unfamiliar with being next to each other, but you've seen them all before, so it feels cool to be like, I know what to do here. Okay. Okay, time to go fight Artorias and beat the game. What is Artorias' yeah. method of fighting? He wields a long sword in his left hand. And he once had a Moloch named Ceres, who used fire. Had. But I killed her. And since then, he's tethered a new Moloch called Enominat to use in her place? As far as I know, yes. 
But I can't imagine a new Moloch will work with him as well as Ceres did. Must be pleasant to always assume the best. If I'm wrong, that's where all of you come in. The four of you will strain his tether to the Moloch. Then I'll chew through it. At which point Artorius becomes nothing more than a simple human. But how will you get close to him in the first place? I'll use Lafayette's arts. He will cut me. He will burn me. And I will keep charging forward. Your job is to keep healing me so that I can stay on my feet. A sacrificial assault, then. Oh, it's not a bad plan. There's a good chance you'll catch him off guard. If you don't immediately die. But, but, Velvet, you'll... That's an order. Uh, <gasps> All right. So in the end, you're still just a tool to her. Bet that hurts. <sighs> Miss Mogilu, does that demon velvet really mean to kill Shepherd Artorius? What is she thinking? I can't say. Perhaps she's not thinking at all. No, she said something about him killing someone. She said it during his speech, right? I heard her too. She has some feud with Artorias. Her hate for him flows deep. I wonder what her connection to Lord Artorias is. Don't call him Lord. Trust me. What? You'll understand when the time comes. If she's still alive to face Artorias, that is. Precisely. The fires of her hatred are all consuming. Who will they burn in the end? Hmm? Oh, oh you just said it. No, surely not. It's a dangerous path we walk, but a debt is a debt. Come along, Lafayette. Okay. Oh yeah, Yo. one last <laughs> boat before we end the game. Take a look at this. One day we'll get over fifty percent. <laughs> what? No. Scout that was the second thing, sail. right? We just got the scholarly dive. Or sure, drive or no, that was the sending There's out. There's a skill. There's a skill. Okay. It's a skill activated. Oh. Oh, <laughs> I was like, wait, we're rank four. Why don't we have rank three and rank four skills? Maybe they're locked of story. Maybe. Or maybe they need to be unlocked in order, and rank three is a character we don't have yet. <laughs> that is the other option. But there's so many other characters we don't have. So many. This is just like um, Symphonia, where there's a cast of nine. That is a large number, yes. Oh, Sparkly, let's go. Yeah, as much as I really like the Definitive Edition of Vesperia, it, the game did not need two new characters. <laughs> yeah. And I, I did not use them. <laughs> yeah. Yo, so... I think I remember using Patty a little bit. Just Use her a little bit yeah. because she's fun. Like, she's genuinely fun to control, which a lot of Tales games, they only have a couple characters that are fun to control. I feel like Vesperia has a lot that are fun to control. Yeah. And she's one of them. I just don't like the randomness of her skill set. Mm. She's all Gamba based. Demons and Malakim. Unlikely companions, to say the least. Ceres is here, too. In my stomach. Well, you made her a ring. So chose to be a mother bird, Ceres. <laughs> Things will be different this time. I will have my revenge. <laughs> revenge for Lapiset! Uh Very well. It is time. I'll stop oh, you. See this? So this is the shepherd mm. style. Mm. Remember, remember that thing that we were gonna do? Yeah, kill the final boss right now. Remember that thing where we were just gonna rush him? I'm, I'm remembering the plan. What's going on? We're in a normal fight. 
and he's not taking any damage. I wonder what we no, have to do four. here. He just took six, ten, and six, and three, and fourteen damage. Uh huh. And how many Got thousands it. of health does he have I again? Look. It's not important. All right. What's important is progress. Is progress. What's important is taking away his only action thing. Take it away. Exactly. And what's he gonna do? Gonna grind it to sixty. <laughs> Oh, was that like 33 damage? That was like 33 damage! I broke his guard for a second. Alright, so. How long till it times out? Oh, what do you mean? This is the fight. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> There's where it times out. Instant kill. Into a cutscene. Amazing. Velvet! Tales games and scripted losses. Name a name a more iconic duo. Please. Mm. This isn't over. To be fair, they're often not scripted. They're just like accounted for, right? <laughs> Like, usually you can totally beat the bosses that are quote unquote scripted losses. Hey, you have him now. Once more. It's true. Lock me set. The fourth maxim. <laughs> Never let your guard down, even when victorious. I will not let you win so easily. I will use my full strength, as is just and proper. Aid me, Innominat! His wounds have vanished! Such power. Is it really? That is cheating! <laughs> why, why do I... Remember you that night, a terrible night. More, more healing. It's impossible. We have to run. You won't escape this time. I beg your pardon, Lord Artorius. See, you guys, I'm confident Master I can kill. Was attending you. The failure is mine. Oh. Shigure is out training. Besides, that man would like to see my blood spilled more than anyone. Same as ever. Uh, he thinks only of himself. Look what happened with Ifrid. So you are Melchior. No, Artorius. The one who most wants to spill your blood. It's me! Master Artorius, allow me to quiet this demon. <laughs> Out of my way! Learn your place, you abominable demon! I'm not finished. Why? Doesn't it hurt? Aren't you in pain? Why, Velvet? Why do you go on fighting? Because... Luffy said knew so much more pain than I ever will. And still, I... I couldn't do anything for him. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Velvet. Colluding with demons. Number two, your punishment must be severe. Kill the demon. Then, end your own life. 
No. Have you forgotten our pact? Your mistress is giving you an order. I'm sick of your orders! I... I... That aura... Sister! Rokuro, into the portal! Right. Hey! Don't forget me! Oh you my You cannot you. escape! Ah! Ooh, ooh, ooh. We, throw, <laughs> we throw a ball in there after you. <laughs> you know Minot's power reacting with the Earth Pulse. It's extraordinary. He's playing a very elaborate game of fetch right now. <laughs> I begin to see. Still, giving your brother's name to a Moloch. You've strayed so far. Motherfucker, you killed him! <laughs> you stabbed him with a big cross of light! Alright, we did it! We beat him! We did it! Just let me sleep a little more, Silica. You rascal. Don't you remember the task I entrusted you with? The task? Yes. I asked you to take care of him. <gasps> I was wondering when we'd oh. end up in question mark, question mark, question mark. Yeah. <laughs> We're now in Where the life stream. Am I? Did they kill me? My wounds are gone. Um bugs. No, get off of it. No bug. No, you get. You get. <laughs> Bad fever. Uh... Please don't die, Velvet. You saved my life. Now it's my turn to save you. Now fight! Uh, First, one... we've got to get out well, of here. Yeah? First we gotta turn around and look for any boxes. Yeah, Crazy. there's one right there. Look at that one. Look at it. Look at it. Give it to me. It's... Uh... One other thing about Baldur's Gate 3, mm -hmm. and I suppose tangentially D&D &D 5e, um, uh -huh. command may be the best spell in the game. Command, huh? Uh, it's a level one spell that just lets you stop an enemy's turn. Assuming they fail. Assuming they fail a wisdom save. Uh, but when you're a cleric with 20 wisdom, that's going to be pretty often. And upcasting it just gives you an additional target. <laughs> mm. So you just get to be like, hey, I'm going to target four things because this is worth a level four spell. You don't get a turn anymore. Okay. Uh, and if it works on three of them, you're good. And then it's only for one turn. Oh. Um, However, there's this nifty ring you get late game that when you uh, deal damage with a melee attack, you can cast an illusion or enchantment spell uh, as a bonus action. Ah, uh, and of course, it's an enchantment. Yeah. So command ends up being like a really incredible Just spell. Hang in there, That's actually one thing I really like about 
the spells in uh, Pathfinder second edition. Yeah, well, it's the, the action economy is totally different, right? Well, I just mean the way the, the way the spells with the saving throw work. Of the most of the time, uh, you have to a success just says, "All right, this effect this this affects you still, but only for one turn." Yeah. Only on a crit success is it like now nah, you 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 evade all effects. So yeah. command in this case, I don't know how it would work because it only works for one turn. But on stuff like on stuff like hold person, yeah, it's like this works for one for like one or two rounds instead instead of the full effect. So there's just nothing here. So like it makes it makes those kind of spells actually feel better. Yeah, 